Hey y'all, it's Jason again with uh, All Star Welding. Um, if you've watched any of my videos, you know I don't do opening screens and music and all that kind of stuff. I don't do any editing. I, I hate doing editing. and It just takes a long time to do that. Um, so I'm gonna just shoot this straight from the hip and let me warn you, I do say and and um and uh and stuff like that, so just get used to that. Okay, so what I wanna talk about today is my drill press. Um, this is the Central Machinery, I think it's a 17 inch, 16 speed drill press that you can get at Harbor Freight. It's a beast, it's a really, really nice, um, uh, drill press. I really like it. Um, see there I go, um, but I, um, uh, I want to be able to use annular cutters. If you don't know what those are, it's these guys right here. Man, they are nice. They're typically used on magnetic drills, but I want to be able to use it on my drill press as well. So what I've had to do was I ordered the annual an, annular cutter adapter that will go up in here, okay? And that will let me use these weld and shank. A weld and shank, there's, there's two flat sides on here, and when it goes in here, you just tighten up these two set screws and you're ready to go. But uh, I will leave, I ordered this from AccuSize off of um, Amazon. I will leave the description for it in the uh, video uh, comments down, down under this. But the first thing that I wanna do is First thing that you want to do is put gloves on because there's little metal shavings and you know you hate those splinters. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up my, my table here and I've got one of these. If you don't have one of these you need to get one. Uh, they're from Evolution and again I will leave the description uh, for it down in the video description. What it is it's a, it's a magnet. And when you pull this plunger out, it drops all the filings. So I keep a little five gallon bucket here next to my drill press. Look at this. See all that? Now all you gotta do, when you pull that plunger out, everything drops off. So I keep a five gallon bucket next to my drill press so that I can dump all these shavings in here. Let me just do this real quick. See how fast, how fast I'm able to clean this up? Even that little thing in the middle where your drill bit needs to go. Look at that. All cleaned up and this is a, a, a magnet. Uh, there's not a part number on here, but it's from Evolution. Same people that make the, the uh, evolution saws, and, and uh, I will leave a description uh, down below for that. All right, so we got that cleaned up. I'm just gonna brush this off a little bit. Okay. So the first thing that we need to do, we need to get this out of here. When you bought your drill press, you should have had one of these. If you've lost this, it's no big deal, it's just a wedge. You can make it out of some scrap metal. But all you do is you lower down your spindle till you can see this little slot. And you see, see my hand back there? Now all you do is you take this 
and you, and you just drop it in there. And I like to take a piece of uh, uh, two by four, put it down here so that it'll drop on there. And all you do is you just tap this a couple of times. Boom, there it is, it's off. And then you can take your, your uh, wedge out. I don't know what they really call this. I just call it a wedge. But then you can raise it up. And there you go. It's, it's out. This one just happens to be a JT3, uh, also known as a Morris Taper 3 or MT3. That's the size that fits my drill press. Um, make sure that you check with your drill press uh, as to the proper size. It's probably going to be an MT3 or M MT2. Um, but, all right, so. We want to replace that with this. This is the weld and shank adapter for the annular cutters and it's super easy to install. Uh, the top of this, you see it has a, it's kind of flattened on, on uh, two sides. When you bring, when you bring your spindle down, look in your hole, you want to align the top of this with the inside of that. Now, if if you're doing this and you look in here and you don't see that slot, just reach up here and turn your gears. See, now you can't see it. Just turn your pulley up here till you can see it. Now, before we put this in here, this was probably shipped with some oil on it to keep it from rusting just take your little acetone and you just want to wipe that oil off okay nice and clean it doesn't need to be oiled or anything like that if you put oil on it it's probably not going to stay in there now this is a taper fit which means this taper it's wider at the bottom than it is at the top and it matches the taper inside your spindle and it's super easy to put on make sure that you align the top of that with that all right so it's going to need to be about like this i'm just going to put it in here and all you have to do is that that's it it's installed if if you don't trust that, just take a wooden block and just tap it on the bottom one time real quick. Now, now I'm ready to install a welding shank annular cutter. And it just goes in like that. Of course, it'll have a center pin that, you know, pokes down here, but I forgot to grab that for the video, but it just goes in there like that and you're ready to cut big giant holes. Now, since I don't want to take this out and do what I've just done every time I want to switch from doing an annular cutter to a regular twist drill, what I've done is, again, I got on Amazon and I ordered this. This is your regular chuck with the weld and shank adapter. See, the top of that is a three quarter inch weld and shank that looks just like the annular cutter. And look at there, that's a taper fit also. So what we wanna do is again, we want to take some acetone, just kind of wipe off that grease on there, get that nice and clean. Okay, make sure that you don't have any metal filings on there or anything like that, because that's gonna cause your spindle to, I mean your chuck to wobble. Okay, and, and it's a taper fit, just like 
this is. You just put it in here, make sure that your jaws are pulled in. You just put it in there and you can just go like that. And then again, if you don't trust that, hit it with your wood block. And that's all there is to it. Now, I can put this into my welding shank adapter or my welding shank spindle and I can use regular twist drills and then all I have to do is undo these little set screws take it out then I can put in my uh, annular cutter back in that's all there is to it now if for some reason you want to take this off of your chuck right if you want to take that out it's just about as easy as taking this out all you got to do take you a punch that's got a flat end retract your jaws all the way and right there in the bottom is the bottom of of your um adapter now all you got to do is just tap it out there you go it's back out again so we're gonna pop that back in there because I want I want this to stay I'm just gonna pop it with my wood block and I'm good to go all right so that's pretty cool so now with this installed I can use either regular drill bits by putting this in there like that, tighten up your set screws, or I'm ready to go with my annular cutters. And it just goes in that easy. That's all there is to it. So, thanks for watching this video, and I hope you learned something today. Uh, that's what the purpose of these videos are, to you know, share, share things with each other. And um, again, if you want to take this back out again you do it the same way just turn that slot so you can see that top of that pop it in there grab your hammer and again don't don't you know hit it hard all you got to do is just tap it a couple of times and it comes back out all right so that's my video uh, I hope you liked it please subscribe because uh, I've got a lot of videos coming this week uh, it's cold 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 outside and so uh, when it's cold and rainy people don't come to see the welder uh, so I'm taking advantage of this uh, downtime to do some maintenance and um, I'm going to do some videos about some maintenance I'm doing. And I'm going to do some uh, more videos uh, on my Titanium 125 welder. Some of my Prime Weld MIG welders. Um, my Vulcan Outlaw 195 welder generator. And a bunch of other stuff. I'm going to do some more of the uh, tailgate talks. Uh, little short things. And I've got a package coming tomorrow. Um and uh you're gonna like it so i'm gonna do a video on that too but anyway thanks for watching please subscribe so that you're notified when i make more videos thanks for watching